So, good morning. It is, what is today? Today's Thursday. Yeah, that's right. There's just a drop. So Thursday drop. Uh, that went really well. Godzilla stuff, I'm pretty sure, sold out. Out of control shirts are close. Everything at this moment right now is like less than five or six uh, sizes or whatever. But um, shout out to everybody for the support. Much appreciated always. You guys are amazing. It's really cool that you guys are super supportive through the growth of me and the brand and the channel. And um, if I don't say thank you enough, then I want to say thank you. Thank you. Um... What's going on today? So I really, having a mental dilemma, I wanted to go to the shop and hang out. The house is still, like, it's still not put away. Like, it really isn't. And so, I think I'm gonna try and organize the rest of the clutter. I haven't plugged in a single electronic, really, because they're all, I don't know where any of the cords are. And there's a few boxes that look like this. So I really need to kind of get on it and I need to get the house really, really straightened up because Omar is on the way. If you haven't seen my Twitter or some Instagram post, uh, whoever is bringing them to me, the driver is amazing. He's tweeting, he's texting me like he is Omar, which I don't know, man, for me, that shit's awesome. Like my biggest concern with having the dog being shipped is, you know, the conditions that he would be in. And it's like, my man is just hanging out. So uh, shout out to the homie that is driving him out. Definitely awesome. Definitely can't wait for him to get here. Uh, a little nervous, but also excited. The driver, couldn't say enough about them and the people that I got it from. I'll, uh, I'll text them and ask if they want me to an advertise where I got Omar, but we'll see. I don't know if they want to be like blown up because um, let's face it, Omar is going to be the main. I'm also starting a silent uh, what would you call it? What would you call that? Uh, I guess a silent contest. Um, speaking of contest, I know Boost Your Bro, Boost Your Bay, I've been sleeping on picking the winners. I got you. Just give me a, give me some time to just finish up. I promise you, I'm not, not scamming anybody. I don't, I'm not out here trying to fucking just get subscribers through contests or anything like that. So, but yeah, it's coming, I promise. But this other mystery contest is if you can, if anybody can predict which pair of shoes Omar is going to eat first. If any, he might just be a good boy. Hopefully he's just a good boy. Yeah, if you can guess which ones he's gonna destroy first, then you get a prize. I'm gonna get this house straight, probably go get some lunch or something. See if we get into something today. I kinda wanna go see a movie, but there's really not much to go see, you know? I don't know, I don't really wanna see the Tupac movie anymore. I just, I'm over it. All right, cool, I'm gonna get to work, do some stuff. Peace. I guess before we uh, start cleaning up for the day and chilling and doing all that, I am gonna run to the shop because for one, I wanna see if me and Matt match shoes for the third day in a row. That'll be a first, but uh, we'll see. I know he's got these, so we'll see what happens. Oh. <laughs> so close. What? <laughs> That's fucking crazy. That is. <laughs> That's so crazy. And there's, like, it's uh, kind of scary. It's amazing. Close. It's so funny. The last three days, the first day we wore the same exact shoes. We have so many, it's like the opposite <laughs> happening are ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. The second day we wore the same shoe, except for he had the 1.0 on and I had the 2.0 on. And then this is pretty much... A new version of that, basically. Uh, yeah, yeah. What people are calling this. That. They're calling this that, yeah. Which is when I put these on, I was like, well, I haven't worn my giant <laughs> this ones yet. Maybe I'll put those on. I was That's like, funny. Nah, I'm sorry. I was actually going to wear the other Chinese New Year's this morning. The white ones? The new, I thought about. The new ones. Yeah, the white, the, the white yeah, ones. The right? three point. Oh, no. Got you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, this looks good. I thought you meant like the new ones, like the ones you just got. As in the, the 1.0. How's it going? Good, good. Can you go on Boom, today? Boom, black and white. Did you just undeath dead stock for this? I just got them in the mail today. Oh, man, brand new. <laughs> so they ain't very good. July. Yeah, great. What, great. About, what about that 4th of July? <laughs> <Free mode> kids <laughs> where I almost killed those kids. Yeah. Uh, there was a 4th of July where... We went to Jay's house. What did I do though? How did I end up? There was a fucking mortar blowing up in the street. Jay just like would put a mortar out and just, like roll it down the street. And it hits a cane and all that shit. And Tony's like, get out of the way! <laughs> just like not shielding the kids. <laughs> no. But I grabbed no, I grabbed it to pick it up, but I threw it towards the house. But all the all the kids were running inside. I picked it up and I, I didn't know where to throw it, so I threw it to the porch. 
So they like close the screen door. They close the screen door, and the fucking firework hits the front. It's like, bah, 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 bah. this is the first like first year of working at the shop. <laughs> Will's like, thanks for almost killing my fucking children. I was like, yeah, sorry, man. It might have been the first year of weed smoking, also. No, you weren't smoking yet. No. You didn't start smoking until you went to what? DC, basically. Nah, fam. I smoked weed the first time at Jay Chastain's house. Uh, and I was looking, and I was looking at Ed Hardy's portfolio, I and I said, "Them head. fucking scales are like Visa. They're wherever the fuck they want to be." <laughs> and I was like, ready to go. I was like, "I could be as loose as I want." <laughs> they don't have half the shit that's on that menu anymore. Damn. You need a new menu. Don't bring in him old menus. I didn't bring him. I like that old. You menu. need a green hat. I don't like that. I'm crazy to milk chug. Milk chug. Someone needs to stand up for Milk Chug. <laughs> Not everybody can wear boots, but everyone needs to respect Jaws. <laughs> That's amazing. Just trash. So you want wings right now? Maybe Jaws? Yeah. No, I don't want anything. It's a trash movie, oh. I'm sorry. Are you serious? Yeah. For when it came out? I'm not talking over. about when. It has to hold the fucking test of it time. It holds man. up. Bay Bay's Kids is still good. You know what I'm saying? It's very slow. It's, it builds. Yeah, it builds. It builds into yeah, this puppet. It shark. looks like an oven mitt shark. Speaking really from a, you're just coming from a nostalgic standpoint, though. You know. Uh, it's, it's so you have a childlike look on your face right now, even. You know. It's like a gleam. It's just my face. There's man. an Epcot Center it's gleam in your eye right now. It's like Predator and Alien. It's, Predator's like funny, bad, good. Yeah. Robocop Alien, is still good, Alien but it's still just funny. Up. Have you seen that dick scene? The the scene where he shoots off the dick and then the people like edited it, so he just keeps shooting people's dicks off. <laughs> no. Oh, oh yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> 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 There's a lot of dicks to blur out. <laughs> Where are these from? <laughs> I'm wearing bands today, I see. Good job. Not concepts, bodegas. I could see, I could see how I made that mistake. It's like patchwork yeah. looking almost. Oh, another denim? I guess. It's crazy. My dude asked me if I wanted them the other day, and I was like, well, yeah. Huh. Sure. We'll see. When do they come out, did they say? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's called the Burrow Denim Pack. Salad and stay full. I'm like, dog, I eat a, sa I eat a real fucking salad. What up? They're going to pick out a shirt. Yes. The Trap House? Yes. The Trap House right here. For sure. All right, you beautiful people. All right, I'm getting out of here. I gotta go get the house ready for Omar. When is he getting in? Either tonight or tomorrow. Ooh, excited? I'm nervous. Did he come from Cali? Where did he come from? Florida. Portland? Florida. Florida, oh wow. They gotta stop like every two hours. Is like, no, I just ner like that's a puppy dog. The motherfuckers are crazy. Yeah. He's gonna be. The pee pads out of your balcony will be set. Yeah, that's it. That's all it takes. I go out like every hour. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll see y'all. Milk chug. chug. Those chug waters water. are a joke. Well, <laughs> baby water chug. He used to be baby water chug, and then he graduated to milk chug. No yeah. water bottle could quench your magnificent thirst. I like hot so milk. So you move to milk. You like Nothing hot like milk. like a good hot milk. You like warm milk before you go to bed? Yeah. a glass of warm milk for my slumber. I don't know if I'm still hungry or not, but I need to wait. What'd you eat? Chicken wings. How fries. many? Chicken wings? I don't know. You don't know? 10 or 12. A dozen chicken wings and you're still hungry. Well, I don't know yet. I gotta wait. I gotta Got wait you. and see how things go. He worked with a guy once ate 100 chicken wings. Dude, once? that's awesome. Yeah, he just sat there and ate 100. On his, he was a piercer. He just like folded out the table and sat there and just crushed like 100 chicken wings. The most I've eaten is like 22 He's a really big guy. I would not make it in prison. You'd crack. Some money in your commissary though. You trying to hit the blunt again today? You seem like you had a better day yesterday. Oh, yeah. what? I did have a tiny hit or tiny buzz though yesterday. But I get I too like thirsty, it. man. That shit dries me out. Do so. I? 
they have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna bark at everything. Yeah. What's up, kid guy? We'll be like, start setting firework, fireworks off at your house every week. <laughs> One time that they're puppy, I'd be like, what are you doing? I'm like, trade my fucking puppy, what are you doing? It better every day, dude. <laughs> yeah. The mailman walks by every single day, yeah, yeah, yeah. never cause them any harm. You they lose their fucking minds you need, every single you day. Need Caesar Milan, man. What's the new dog's name? Omar. Omar? Mm -hmm. Did you name him after the wire? Yeah. That's sick. What are you making? Mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. That is not a rice cake. I've moved on. Oh, you're not the rice cake queen anymore. Oh, you still got it? You still stay with that thing on you? Yeah. So your butt gets bigger? Is that what it says on the box? Yeah, it says eat this and your butt will get bigger. Nice. Ow. Fire. It's hot. Get it. <laughs> Fire. Hot. Damn, this is some struggle mac and cheese. Annie's though. Yeah. Annie. Anybody seen a jigsaw? Annie's got the powder. <laughs> no. Found it! Do a fucking episode with you and do an entire Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> to, like me I'm just you. eating? No, no, me and you are gonna <laughs> like, like Me and you are gonna cook it together. Oh sick. An entire Thanksgiving. Milk. <laughs> a bowl of milk with salt and pepper in it. No, we're gonna make the whole thing like turkey, cranberry sauce, but you don't make that, I guess. So, is it like a cooking show? Yeah, we're gonna do our first cooking this episode. This is fun. This awesome. sounds so fun. I think it'd be awesome. Welcome to the crossroads. Is that what he says? No chance. Do you go? That's Space Jam, though. Yeah. Welcome to the Space Jam. It's your chance to do your dance at the Space Jam. All right. Wave your hands in the air the like you just don't care. Time to take it into overtime. They're re-releasing the Space Jam. Sick, bro. We're on. All right, so I'm home. And I gotta go get some lunch. I'm gonna go get a salad. Start cleaning. And that's just gonna be it today. So, uh, but what I am gonna do, because, well, actually, I can't believe that me and Sager wore almost the same shoe again today. It definitely wasn't planned. People, some people were gonna say we planned it, but we would never do that. And I'm gonna change shoes real quick and give these other shoes a test drive on my way to a salad spot. Um, I've worn these once just for a little bit, and I'm gonna try them on a real walk. So I can give you a real review of them, and that'll be it. So. Oh shit. I feel like if I pull this out, this whole thing is gonna fall. Fucking leaning. Dog, this could go bad. Like here, I feel like I'm in a movie. No, 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 upright. Okay, I can't do this anymore with the camera. Okay, please don't fall. I just really want the pair of shoes out of here. Didn't fall. I thought I was going to. <laughs> salad time. Shout out to Mad Greens for the salads. Salad time, shoe review time, clean time. I actually have to clean my human races or these Pharrell's already because I banged my toe the other night right there. Whoa. It started like, you know, sorry to be graphic and gross, but started bleeding all crazy. And apparently it's still bleeding because I just fucked these up walking down the street. So, but I'll get that out. I know, it's gross. All right. So let's talk shoes. So today, I wore the My Adidas, this is what the box looks like. Uh, My Adidas Ultra Boost 
This is a dust bag that comes with it. This is what we were all, what we were calling, or I was calling, people were calling, uh, Asian exclusive. I do believe this colorway ended up releasing in the UK. I'm not sure, I really can't remember. But for me, this was the Asian exclusive. If you remember, I flew to New York City once they announced that they were doing the My Adidas, you're supposed to originally be able to pick between four colorways, black, gray, white, and blue. It ended up being just black, gray, and white. Pull a few strings, pull a few boost cords, and uh, get these from Asia. So shout out to the homies who hooked that up. But uh, this is the shoe, which we've looked at the other ones, but we do, and we should look at this one real quick because it is a super fire pair. Uh, the My Adidas so far has all been on 2.0 Ultra Boost. Um, this one is a 2.0 with no gradient, so the toe box doesn't have that gradient. It's got more of the 1.0 pattern in the toe. It just kinda has a little bit more of a barrier around it where the gradient usually is. I absolutely prefer the 2.0 with no gradient. It honestly opens up a whole new world for me as far as the shoe goes. Uh, I think they're super sick, so do a lot of other people. All blue, all navy blue upper, there's nothing peppered in whatsoever until you get to the heel area. And this ain't no pepper. No sir. This is, what did I call it the other day? Rainbow knit. Nah, it wasn't rainbow knit. Whatever they called it on the 1.0. But what was the name of that shit? Oh man, it's gonna drive me crazy. All right, we're gonna call it rainbow knit. I don't remember. Multi-colored pattern all throughout the heel that we first saw on the 1.0 and the Chinese New Year. But this stays constant through all the pairs. You could not change this. This is the only thing that really stayed constant. You could change the color of the upper, the laces, and the continental sole. I went with infrared on all the pairs so that they match as a pack. I did mess up and get blue laces instead of the infrared laces, but that's okay. I got boxes and boxes of laces. Um, but yeah, like I said, all blue upper, multicolor heel, tongue tab, you could pick color too, so obviously I went with infrared on that as well. Navy blue cup with silver and gold Ultra Boost branding, and of course, boosts. So this is a size 12 and a half, that's the largest that they did these in, so that's why there's no insole on in this one. This is what the insole looks like, it's also multicolored. I, um, as you guys know, if it's a 12 and a half, I gotta rip the insole out in order to wear them. For this, the fit's fine, 12 and a half's perfect, no problem at all. Uh, putting them on for the first time, they are a little tight. It was like that with every single pair of of the My Adidas. For some reason, this multicolored pattern in the back just needs a little stretching. And you can actually hear it stretch. You can almost hear like the cage and the cup kind of cracking as you put it on first time. But not cracking, but you know, like moving. Like when your house, when your house makes noise. It's like a shoe house. Ultra Boost, My Adidas, baby. Asian exclusive. I'm no longer available, I don't believe, unless you can get a code. I do believe you can build them online now if you have the code. But, uh, Good luck finding a code that works, and it would take a while for them to ship to. So usually it's like four to six weeks, but if you find one, knock yourself out. They're definitely super fire.
All right, so the next shoe we're gonna talk about, which is not Boost, shout out to Pharrell and the homies for sending this out. Um, a lot of people since I got these have been asking like what my thoughts were. Um, I finally got the chance today to wear them, also get blood on them, but I also clean them. This is the Pharrell William Tennis Hue, which I really, this is, <laughs> The tennis shoe, tennis hue part, that's my favorite part. It's pretty clever. Um, it comes with an extra set of yellow laces that match the outsole. And this is what the shoe looks like. As you can see, I got the blood out very quickly. Not that hard if you stay on top of shit. So this is what the shoe looks like. Bow, 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 bow. So, this is a pretty, pretty plain looking shoe, right? So we got an all white upper. Obviously uh, the upper is a difference between PK and mesh you have both in this upper there is a There is a mesh inline around the tongue. It's not around the toe box and it's not on the sides But in this whole section this has all got that mesh inline that your boy really doesn't like um, Not very breathable just in that part don't really feel it as much in this shoe. That's for sure It's not a deal breaker, but it's there but all white mesh and PK upper. The fit on this is a lot like, or at least the upper part of the fit is a lot like the human race. Uh, it's long and narrow. There's definitely room in my toes at 13. Like there's a, a good inch almost in my toes, but I can't size down because the shoe itself is fairly narrow, just like the human races. Like if I size down on this, I'm gonna, it's not, it's not gonna, I'm gonna have, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be bulging out of the side. So I definitely can't size down, but there is absolutely room in my toes, and that is exactly the same thing with the human races. Um, it doesn't bother me. I don't, like, you're not walking around, it doesn't flop off your foot. It's not loose in the heel in any way. It's just, you're just a little extra room in the toe. That's, that's all there is to it. And I imagine if it's a Pharrell signature shoe, I'm just gonna take a guess. But I imagine that Pharrell has a long, skinny foot. I, just just a hunch but all the way up there's a gold Pharrell Williams Adidas tab on the heel with the human race Pharrell three stripes two stripes equaling peace and then the third stripe being made from his name which I think is pretty cool this one has the yellow outsole they had different colors uh, now there's a whole bunch of different colors coming I don't remember the original release I believe it was just yellow and green I'm probably wrong there's probably different colorways but for the sake of argument all I can remember right now is the yellow and the green again this isn't a shoe I was really checking for because there's no boost, but shout out to, for them to send it to me to make me try. This nice little touch here is the suede human race Adidas tongue tab. Folds over, it's on both sides. It's exactly the same on both sides. White rope laces with a bronze. Well, I guess that's supposed to be gold. I guess that's supposed to match the back here. It doesn't match quite perfectly, but with gold lace tips. And then, of course, there's no boost on this shoe. Um, there is, however, an insole on the inside of the shoe. Well, it's all, insoles are always on the inside, but there's an insole. And this insole is non-removable, but it is squishy. Like, there's definitely a little squish to it. It's not boost in any way, shape, or form. Don't play yourself. You're definitely not going to get boost when you get this shoe. But there is, you know, there is a little bit of extra oomph in the shoe step, in case you're wondering. So my review of the shoe is, it's okay. I would not wear the shoe all day, and it's not, that would never happen for me personally. Again, just the lack of boost, there's no energy return, there's no, it's not really like that comforting when you walk. Narrowness of the shoe for me personally is a little too much, it kind of feels like I'm gonna slide off the bottom of the shoe. But, I do like the way they look on feet. And I do like them for like a quick, like if you're just throwing them on real quick to go do something or go by the pool or anything like that, they're, they're totally fine. It's a totally fine shoe. It's just not a shoe that personally I would wear every day because I just love Boost. I mean, it's just what it comes down to. The energy return, the way it feels when I take a step, the way the upper hugs my foot, I just prefer that. This upper does do a lot for the shoe. It definitely has a sock-like feel when you slide it on and your foot is being held in place by it. But just the lack of Boost, that little marriage that's together with the upper and boost is everything that I'm looking for. There's a little bit of suede in the heel cup down there to help. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So for me are not a must cop by any stretch of the imagination. There's a bunch of colors coming. A lot of people like them. Price point's a little lower. Uh, if you're looking for like a nice classic looking Stan Smith type shoe with just a little extra, this is definitely a good choice. Absolutely. Um, but again, just keep in mind, no boost. And you know, after wearing boost, that's a huge thing. So especially Especially in the same day. If you wake up in the morning and you don't put boost on, you're probably okay putting a non-boost shoe on. But if you go from boost to this, you're definitely gonna feel a difference. So for me, not something that I'm gonna probably wear a lot. A lot of people have been asking me, I've gotten some commissions, or at least some uh, 
requests for commissions for customs. Uh, this could possibly be a better shoe to put a little cheap custom on, I guess. I don't know, like at least a cheaper shoe instead of Yeezys, because it seems like so far only people want me to paint on Yeezys. But yeah, this is definitely something for that. I'm surprised I've seen more of these customized. And maybe there have been, I just haven't been paying attention. But, but yeah, nice shoe. It's definitely super cool. Definitely super, super grateful for Pharrell and the team for sending these out to me. That part to me is more valuable than any shoe I'd put on my feet is just to be recognized. So much love for that. This is the human race tennis hue. So that's the day. Um, I got a lot of work to do because I just got another text that Omar is 300 miles away and that was at around five o'clock. So he could possibly be here tonight. We really don't know yet. It might be in the morning, but I have a lot to do. I'm very excited. I'm very nervous. Um, it's been a long time since I had to raise a puppy, uh, Doobie. That was nine years ago. And we were like with each other all the time so um, it's pretty exciting for sure I've definitely been trying to brush up on my puppy training um, but yeah here we go so Omar will be here I'm assuming at least by tomorrow and we will get the adventures of Omar started so see you guys tomorrow big day